So time and again, one hears or almost assumes that we humans would only use 10% of our brain capacity. But is this true at all? My name is Dula Kovács from the Biological Psychology and Cognitive Neurosciences here at the University of Jena. And I'm going to explain to you whether this claim is true and correct or not at all. Not only in the popular culture, it is broadly believed that we use approximately 10% of our brain capacity, but recent studies show that approximately half of primary and secondary teachers, and even a large proportion of psychology students, believe in this myth. But what is the origin of this belief? The myth may have emerged from the writings of a psychologist and philosopher called William James. In his book of 1908, The Energies of Man, he wrote, We are making use of only a small part of our possible mental and physical resources. The myth has perpetuated much like any other urban legend does. So even today, several movies depict persons with using their entire brain capacity as having superpowers, like a film, for instance, by Luc Besson called Lucy. But how much of this myth is true? First and above all, like any organ, the human brain is the product of a revolution. It makes approximately 2% of our body weight, which is one of the largest among animals. Evolution would have never produced such a large brain for us if we were only using a tiny proportion of it. Even more importantly, however, the adult brain uses approximately 20% of the available body energy. So it's easy to see that it would be a huge waste of this energy if we didn't use it fully. Second, previously it has been thought that large parts of the brain, the so-called association cortex, which is depicted with darker colors here, do not have any important functions in our life. But actually there are no such silent regions in the brain which do not serve any functions. Already early lesion studies using cortical damages show that these areas have paramount roles in higher cognitive functions or creating our personality and our normal emotional life. Current brain imaging techniques, which developed in the last couple of decades, can depict the activations of the living human brain. They found that many areas are active simultaneously together, even when we are in complete rest and doing nothing. The very same brain imaging studies also revealed that a large network of areas gets activated during even fairly automatic tasks in our life, such as viewing images, like in the video what you see, or listening to a music piece. Thus one can say that the claim that we would only really use 10 or 20% of our brain capacity has been refuted. This statement is not true.